What's up, gamers? How's it going? My name's Crimson, and I'm a Xanity Five player. So uh, before we proceed with episode two, please help me by subscribing, because most of our viewers are not subscribed, ninety-one percent. And we will be creating a Harley Quinn, which is a yo-yo type for this episode two. And let's see what it does. All right, go. <laughs> So as usual, we proceed on leveling up first and make sure to vote on the website so that you can get the criminal island ticket. So every vote is 25 vote points and you get 4 links so that's 100. And criminal island ticket is uh, around 50 vote points. So uh, our goal for this one is to level up first to 300 now what we're doing here is um, we're going to pick up some uh, weapons from the monsters and we sell it to the NPC so that we have a uh, source of funds to buy our items basic items so when we are now on the criminal island uh, make sure not to lure lots of mobs because you will die especially that you don't have any AOE um, skill and you're into one to one um, killing mobs so we have reached level 300 now make sure to open the chests so that hopefully we get some red chips or so on so luckily I got 6k red chips and I'm selling it so I'm selling it for 15 parents and someone bought it like yeah that's a great um, starting pairing for me so what I did is purchase the asylum which is the level 100 200 uh, level 250 weapon which is the yo-yo and level 250 set so now what we're going to do is we're going to awake it using the uh, green awakening scroll but before that we're going to farm uh, moonstones and sunstones in the church. So our goal here is to um, create our weapon and make sure when it has a slot where you can put runes, just use the normal runes and get the strength. For a pet, loot our pet, um, it would be best to um, open its uh, bead slot where you can put like PV, HP, speed, ad hoc, soul leeching. So that's very helpful for um, damagers like um, Harley Queen. Now, um, once we have that, make sure to get all the pots, Lord Shears, scroll up acquisition when you do. Uh, boss hunt uh, so we do have another video for guides where you can um, farm blue chip chips which is the drops on these bosses three hours later so yeah uh, once we've finished farming we're going to vend Man monster hunter token blue chips and I kill the boss boxes so uh, we sell it for 1p, the IKABB, the blue chips is around 60p per box and 15 parents for a Monster Hunter tokens. Hopefully someone buys it. So after someone buys it, make sure to buy a Malefic. Conqueror Yo-Yo that's actually around 30p in the market 40 50 do not purchase it using blue chips Because someone's going to sell it on the market like cheap price a uh, cheaper price Now once we have the yo-yo, let's 
one hour later. Form the suns and moonstones again for upgrading the yo-yo. So again, upgrading is very tedious, and let's make the yo-yo plus 20. So once it's plus 20, we're going to upgrade it to a crystal. So where do we find crystal uh, stone? Just go inside the cove, um, kill mo mobs, and it will drop it. For crystal in sand scroll, it, it, it should be on the cove as well. So we're going to use um, normal awakening scroll here. Now um, we would need to farm blue ships again. Three hours later. So after three hours, we've gained um, lots of blue ships. So we're going to buy increased attack runes in the blue chip shop, and we're going to put it on our malefic conqueror yo-yo. Before we proceed, I would like to thank you, my friend Abel, Miss Abel, who sponsored this video, and she's the guildmaster of Epilogue. Alright, let's continue. So, I'm selling the Monster Hunter token here. So, what my goal here is to buy the Thief set. This is a PVE set, which is 50 parents per parts. But I was able to do transaction and got a discount for 30 parents per part. So I was lucky uh, there. Now, uh, after getting the parts, the set upgraded to plus 10 using the sunstone in a safety scroll. So if you don't have any suns and moonstones, just farm inside the, co uh, the church. So once I have upgraded them to plus 10, I will upgrade them to crystal. And you can farm it again inside the cove as well as for the uh, crystal and shan scroll. So now I'm going to pierce the suit and I purchased lightning card 10%. So those are around 8 period per card, sometimes um, 6, 7, 8, 9 depends on the seller. Now using the normal awakening scroll, we're going to uh, get 2 times ad oak for the suit and boots, strength on the helmet and critical chance on the uh, gloves. Now we're going to buy fire card S which is 3 to 5 periods. 10 pieces and we will put it on the yo-yo which has been cursed the next day now um, we farm a lot like it's been 24 hours so I'm going to sell again the blue chips monster hunter tokens and I kill a box boss if you have Now I have 300 parents, I can purchase a 200 IP set, this is very helpful, so I'm going to use it. Now once I have it, I'll use a normal awakening scroll, we are going to aim for uh, 2 additional um, damage of critical hit, which is ad oak and PVE, you can aim for those. So once done, again, the same thing, we're going to farm and hunt bo uh, bosses. So we're going to farm a lot. Three days later. It has been three days, been farming, got a thousand appearance was able to uh, buy or speak with someone who sells it for their Leia set for a thousand parents with a wix normal um, price for it with which is clean is 800 parents 
after this we're going to farm and get the PVE cloak which is around 2000 parents to do to 2200 parents all right i hope this helps again please subscribe to our channel and feel free to ask any questions on the comment section and tell any suggestion for our next video all right see ya mm -hmm.